let's talk about why I stopped using bleaching cream. <laughs> yeah, guys, you heard me right. Bleaching cream. Yes, I was once using very hot bleaching cream. I'll put a picture somewhere there for you guys to see how I look for. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Well, thank you so much for coming to check your game out. I'm so grateful. In case you want to subscribe to my channel, guys, you can do that. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And put on your post notification press that you can be notified whenever I upload the video, guys. Thank you so much. As for my subscriber, guys, thank you so much. I so much appreciate you all for your daily support. Always watching my video, guys. It means a whole lot to me. I really appreciate you all, guys. Sincerely, I don't take you guys for granted. God bless you all richly. As of those of you that are watching, not subscribing yet, what are you waiting for? Get on and hit that bell that says subscribe, guys. Come on, support your girl. So, guys, for today's video, how I stopped using bleaching cream. Yes, you get me right. I was once using bleaching cream. Yes, it's hard to believe, but there's the truth. Because these days on the social media, people are only talking about how to lighten your skin, how to, like, you know, turn from black to yellow overnight, how to wash your skin. I would say 92% of everybody feels that we watch out there is all about how to lighten your skin, to look white, to look yellow. Nobody is talking about what to do to make your black pop out. Nobody is talking about how to make your melanin pop out, how to look gorgeous, you know, maintain that color that you have. Nobody is talking about it. It's just all about how to look, you know, yellow, how to get, you know, wash your skin, how to look. That is, oh my God, it's just everywhere. So guys, today I said I will make this video because I was once using bleaching cream, like seriously, why I stopped bleaching cream and I never ever ever go back no matter what. So guys, I hope you find this video helpful and so if you do like subscribe and so before you don't even like this past, so I just feel like there is still no this time for me to like bring this video back again because it's just all about how to whiten your skin, how to become, that is what you can see out there. Nobody wants you to maintain your black. It's as if you having dark skin, you are not among the society. Be proud of what you have, your color, whether you are black, that whatsoever you have. Be proud of it. You are short, you are tall, you are fat, you are slim. Learn to love yourself. Learn to have confidence in yourself. Guys, it's very, very, very important. That is the only way you can learn to love yourself. Not when you when you when you don't like yourself and when there is something that you don't like in you, it will make you like lose some kind of confidence, guys. I'm proud to call myself a black woman. I'm proud that I have the color is still there, the color is speaking for me. So what's up with this bleaching cream, guys? I use this bleaching cream for years for a very, very long time. And I stopped no, no, I, and I stopped it uh, four years ago. Yes, when my daughter was I stopped it four years ago. I think I stopped it four years ago here yeah, before I had my son. That is because, guys, trust me, especially when you are a slim woman, trust me, bleaching cream, bleaching cream is not good for any kind of whether you're fat or slim, but especially when you are a slim woman, trust me, bleaching cream is not a good thing for you. Because then I remember, I remember very well when I was using this cream, guys. It was in the beginning, you know, sometimes you just like start this kind of bleaching cream because. You just have the intention to just like to just a little bit just to like get a little bit of you know but at the end of the day you get like you know it's a if it's like a drug you know you're asking for more you're asking for more you just want to become more yellow more you know something like that at the end of the day you find yourself from black you're becoming brown from brown you, you become something else that is the truth but even at that you can still stop it you can still say no because there are a lot of you know whitening cream out there that is good for your skin that don't you know cause any harm there are still a whole lot of fake whitening cream out there that can cause damage to your skin not instant damage but you know after some years this damages might come out so you don't have to you know just like you know for today is okay so i don't care about you know uh, the future to come 
who knows there are a lot of fake whitening cream out there there are still a lot of you know genuine ones but how can you differentiate the genuine one from the fake one especially these fake ones are the ones that can damage your skin like fast fast how i manage to stop using the cheap because it is not easy absolutely not easy for you to stop bleaching cream that is why a lot of people that are using bleaching cream now they just can't stop it because they don't know how to stop they want to stop but they don't know how to stop because it's just going to be horrible at the beginning so i'm going to be sharing with you guys tips on how i was able to stop using this bleaching cream and why i stopped so, so when i was using this bleaching cream i used this, this i used this cream for a lot and lot of years then i was very 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 skinny very very like dry <laughs> I was very very slim then. So the cream that I was using then, that is, it's really really hurt my skin. Like it gave me a lot of eye under my eye, a lot of bumps there under my eye. You know, my my cheek, the, the veil was just like showing to the extent that if I have to come out from my room, I remember then I was living in uh, an apartment with other um, other people. So if I want to come out from the apartment, I have to look for foundation to like you know cover the, the, the eyes, you know, just to like. Just to like you know, cover that dark place that was just like this. My sister, it was not easy. So I was kind of I'm very ashamed of myself because I have a very light skin. My skin is very, very light. My veil was showing. My under my eyes was like a little bit both. The look that I would say I have is that I did not have a stretch mark from using the cream. I would say I was wise enough to stop it earlier before my skin damaged to that level. So, one day before I had my daughter, I said, I want to stop this cream. I am tired, I don't want to go on like this, I don't really love myself, especially my, my face, my body, you know, all the knuckles were dark, my knee, it was not nice, you know, seeing a fine yellow girl with, you know, <laughs> double color, uh, double ID. it took me a very long time to stop using the cream. At least a whole year, if not a year, two months. What I did was that the cream that I was using, What I did was I was using one and a half tube, guys. One and a half, one and a half is that I was using one and a half to mix my cream. So when I decided that I want to stop because I was tired, I was not having fun anymore, I was not seeing myself uh, uh, pretty, you know. When I want to stop, what I was doing was that the one and a half, you know, I always buy my a tube of my cream, like 500 ml, so I put that one and a half in. So when that one finishes, the other one, the next one. When I decided that I want to stop, I started using just one little touch to place the whole cream. So when the one finishes, that's how it is. It's a gradual process, very, very slow, but you are going to love the result. Because when you want to stop bleaching cream, you don't just sleep and wake up tomorrow and say, I want to stop. Because you can't stop it. Because when you just like decide it like that, trust me, if you stop it the next week, the other upper week, you will go back again because you cannot even stand yourself. You won't know yourself anymore. You can't see yourself on the mirror and recognize yourself because the change will be too much on you. And you are going to look ugly, to be sincere, if you want to stop bleaching cream like that. You just hate yourself. So that is where you find out that some people, they stop uh, bleaching cream for some weeks, they later go back again. Because they don't really know the right way to stop. You need months, if not one day, just take it gradual long process because when you reduce the quantity of, of, of the of the tube that you're using to mix your cream definitely the cream will not be too harsh on you anymore and trust me obviously before you finish one tube of cream it takes time so it's just as if you give yourself the long time that you need to get used to your new self because your skin is not because your skin is not longer you know popping very much the way it's used to it's a little bit cool now because you reduce the quantity that you used to so you give yourself a long time to like know your new self get to like you know love what you're seeing then after then you go again reduce again then you have the whole time to get used to what you're seeing get into like yourself that is how it is that was how i was able until i started with half nutrition to like mix the cream 
know, I became a little bit more darker, obviously, yes, but I was, I was loving what I was seeing because I gave myself the time to get used to my new self, very, very gradual process. I got to get used to what I'm seeing, get to like, you know, start loving what I, I have, what I was uh, looking like then. So it's a very long gradual process. At the end of the day, I just like, you know, okay, now I was using half so. I'm okay now, I look good now, I love what I'm saying, so I think now I'll just like stop. That was how I stopped using bleaching cream. And it's as if you're giving your skin the time to heal from all those uh, uh, cream bones that you have as well. So that is how I was able to stop using bleaching cream. And guys, I think I'm going to, it's time for me to like share my, uh, my body moisturizer with you guys. This cream really, really helped me to get rid of all the bones I was having under my eyes it was horrible, it was terrible as that younger age that I was, you know, having this kind of dark, dirty eyes, you know, under it was just horrible. I will definitely make a video of the cream that I use since 2011. I have been using this particular cream till tomorrow. I have not changed it. That cream really helps clean your skin. So guys, I do hope you find it helpful. So if you do, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. Tell me what's your experience if you if you want to stop using glitchy cream or you've stopped or you know tell me what's your experience what what has been going on if you are trying to stop you don't have to stop trust me this my tips will help you because that is what I did for myself look at how I'm looking after all these years now it doesn't even seem as if I was once you know using cream all my skin came back the way it was even much more you know, glowing and looking so healthy. I can't be this satisfied with this yet. So guys, see you.